Hi, this is Loretta coming at you with another video, and this time I'm here with a tutorial on how I did my binding for my December, um, my December daily this year. A lot of people ask me about this. I really like how the binding turned out, and as you can see, it's just a little bit different from, I don't know, just a standard way that I normally bind things, so... I had a bunch of people ask me for a tutorial, and as usual, I'm way, way behind on my videos, and I'm really sorry about that. So, anyway, here we go. Um, I'm using Craft Text for the purpose of this tutorial, and I'm using some larger binding rings. If you were using, say, a three-quarter inch binding ring, then I think that you would be able to just simply score your craft text, um, put it in your bind it all or your cinch. Let me just pull this out and show you this way. I think that you would be able to just fold it like if it were three quarter inch binding. Just, you know, put it in here, punch and go. But with the larger binding, um, it's a little bit trickier because you need a little bit more room for those inner pages. So what I did for that was I um, folded a piece of the craft text and then I scored it where I wanted my front and back cover to go. And then what I did was I went ahead and put a piece... Um, in my cinch and punch the holes and then I lined the holes up a little bit up from where the cinch would go. I don't know if you can see that but as you can see that's probably about a quarter of an inch and then what I did was I marked the center of each hole with a pen and then I took just, I'm sorry, I'm reaching. And then I took a hole punch and punched with that hole punch everywhere that I had measured. Okay? So here's my craft text. Here are my inner pages that I'm going to be using for the purpose of this demonstration. And here are my O-rings. Okay? Okay? So the really important thing about when you are binding a book with a cinch is that you, let me go back to my book here, is that you don't want the binding edge to show on your project. You want the binding ring to be in the back of your project like this one is. And I hope that you guys can see that my binding, the edge of my binding is on the inside of my project and not on the outside of my book. And that's how I like it to look. So what's really important, and I've marked this craft text so that you can know, and I'm gonna go ahead and put my inner pages onto my rings, but I've marked it front and back. And what you wanna do is, okay, when you've got your project, is that you want to flip the back around so that the, the, the front cover is here and the back cover is here and you want to flip it around so that when you bind it, you'll turn this back around and then that will be your binding. I'm hoping that this is making sense to you, but hopefully it will make sense where you can follow along. So these are my inner pages. And these are, this is my craft text. And just for the purpose of the video, let me do this another way that, that may make sense. Front, back, and then inner pages. Okay, so we have a front cover, a back cover, and our inner pages, okay? So we have front cover, inner pages, back cover. So you would take this back cover and just flip it around onto the front. See what I'm saying? Hopefully this is making a little bit of sense. Anyway, so here we go. 
there's my inner pages I flipped it around I'm gonna string that in there I'm gonna pull my cinch out and you guys know how to do this you've done this before okay and I'm gonna set my cinch up and I'm gonna put my binding rings flush against there you guys like I said you guys know how to do this and then I'm just going to set my binding rings, okay? So then what happens is I'm able to flip my covers around like this, see? And it looks like this. So that when this is all filled up with stuff, you see how that binding looks? And so then what I do is I take my front cover and for the purposes of time I mean, you guys are really going to want to adhere this but just for the purposes of time and this demo you know I'm just going to really quickly like give you guys the idea okay and then onto this craft text I'm going to I always like to have my my covers be a little bit larger then my project itself so I'm just gonna come and line this up just like that this is my front cover of course you guys are gonna do this a lot better you know because you're gonna actually be working on a project okay so there's my front cover and you know of course I would you know I'm gonna glue all of all of this would be glued down so there's my front cover and then my back cover I'm going to do the same thing just for the purposes of this video like I said you guys are really going to take your time uh oh I think I might be out of of course that's going to happen right when I'm in a video my ATG gun's going to run out but that's okay. I'll just use another kind of glue. Okay. And like I said, you guys are really going to glue this down really, really well. And here is the back cover. Okay. And like I said, I like, I like my covers to be a little bit bigger than my inner pages. And there's my back cover. So see, it looks like my book looks like this. And of course, you know, this these rings are too big for this project, but you get the idea. I wanted to show you the bigger rings like I used for this book so that you would be able to get the idea of how I did this. And the craft text is really, really strong. I mean, like you cannot even rip it. So it's super, super, super strong. It's going to be there forever and ever and ever. So anyway, there's the binding tutorial. I hope that makes sense to you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. In the meantime, um, I just really appreciate each and every one of you watching my videos and making comments and supporting me. It means a lot to me. And like I said, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment or shoot me a message and I'll be glad to get back to you. Until next time, thank you for watching. Bye now.